Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play Ghoul School. So let's go ahead and take a look right off the bat. It's an American school. Oh, but there's some sort of some sort of storm brewing. Let's go ahead and see what this game's about. Alright, so already off the bat, I look like I'm a punk with a pipe. Or a bat, okay. Oh, alright, we have a beholder. I'm assuming he's not a classmate. Nope. Alright, alright, let's take this guy out. So far, the pacing is pretty slow. There's a sound effect to the score. Oh man, should I just sit here and beat on it? Yes, okay, alright. Can we go in the door? Up goes in the door. We're in classroom here. Oh, ah! Running away actually hurt me even more. So, I'm assuming... I don't know why I'm here overnight, but this, this student goes to the school, finds that it's been overrun with demons. Alright, plausible. Plausible for an interesting 80s storyline. I don't know, it could be 90s, I didn't catch the date on this one. The animation's not too great, there's like, there's no shading. Kinda reminds me of Bart vs. the Space Mutants. There's a Medusa head atop a pile of bones, some of which being crocodile bones. <laughs> this game's a little silly right off the bat. Alright, let's take a look to the right. It's a big door, is this a gym? No, it's supposed to be the front door. Can't go up, can't go through it. Another beholder. Oh, I can hide in a locker. That's kind of neat. I mean, they don't walk far enough. These guys, at least, don't walk far enough to to make good use of that. They inch a little bit f further ahead, so you can't stand just outside their range. Let's go in this room. A wizard hat. I want to put on my cloak and wizard hat. Go ahead and guess history class. I'm also pro I'm also gonna guess that there's probably a globe in every classroom anyway. Hit the TV enough, you get an apple. Didn't even need it. I don't think. I may have been a little low on life. More beholder. This does strike me as one of those games where you have to get a little bit farther to see new types of enemies. Down doesn't do anything. Up lets you go into the thing you're in front of. At least they don't hurt me too much. Alright, geography class. Got to... Uh... Come on. I mean, maybe I can stand right outside of his head range and hit it when it comes over. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe I just don't have to fight him. Unless the goal is to defeat all of the monsters in the school, in which case... Skipping wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and try to beat him. Jump over the head. Come on. Ah! Alright, come on. Jump over the head. Um, the controls... Kinda sluggish. <laughs> Man. Got my ass handed to me there. Come on, man. What kind of a punk are you? You can't represent with the ripped jeans and the spiked hair unless you're good with a bat. What kind of bat is this, anyway? I mean, it looks like a large piece of chalk. It's like a wiffle ball bat. Alright, I'm gonna die again. Let me get out of here. Get out. So we can't find another apple somewhere. I wonder if I can search these for anything. I almost hope I don't find something because it would be very tedious looking. Alright, let's go. Let's go upstairs. Got a Simon's Quest feel going on with the steps. Oh no, no. Ah, oh, oh, that's. I can't. I can't crouch. Here's where the lockers are going to come in handy. Ah, that. I mean, now it just feels like the lockers are a forced mechanic, though. Run. Seriously, these guys are so fast. 
you can't really jump. You can't jump over them because of the bats, but they're so fast you can only move like one locker at a time. Alright, let's try this again. Wait, can I? Oh, that was just lame. Alright. We'll just try to jump and maybe hit the bats this time. Oh, the bat swing is so slow, too. You're better off just running through this, though. Up the steps. Come on. Go up. Come on. I will stand back and hit you. So you came all the way from hell just to jump around in a school hallway? How's that feel? Feel... Feel fulfilled as a demon? Ah! But that starts the fight all the way over again, too. That's so lame. I mean, it's a... This game has fun points. I'll give it that. Only because it's interesting to come around a corner and see a beholder or, you know, you kind of want to see what monsters are next. Kind of creative. Not really produced that well, I'd say. The animation could be a little bit tighter. These monsters seem to have two frames of animation. I'm lucky and I have about four. I hate that it knocks you back off of the screen when you get hit. When you try to get past this guy, maybe... You just can't. I just gotta, like, wail on him. And try to stand back. Yeah, you can tell that they had some... Well, I'm gonna, uh, it, it depends. If I just fight nothing but beholders until the end of the game, then, then I'll, I'll take back this statement, but you could tell the person just wanted to put some creative monsters in a game, but the execution just wasn't, it just wasn't, the game wasn't delivered as well. It puts it kind of in the realm of, of a mid-range flash game. When someone's just getting the hang of programming flash, they put something up on new grounds. Now this is annoying. I better not have to fight my way back. Alright, looks like I am kind of clearing the halls of the monsters. I'm curious if there's a specific number of monsters. I almost want to leave this hall and come back in and see if that guy's back. Well, he's not back. I bet I have to clear the school of monsters. Alright, anybody in this hall? I'm just gonna chill and walk her. Alright, now let's go downstairs. Bat! Can you even... Seems like it would take a lot of skill to take these bats out. If you even can. I don't even know if I damaged it earlier. No, probably takes a different weapon. Or they just don't intend for you to take out the bats. With these little guys on the floor, I almost consider traveling through the hallway to be an expense of health. You just pay health to move through the hall. If you can make it. Come on. Oh, man. He just juggles you. Come on. Come on. Make it. Alright, let's go downstairs and see what's downstairs from here. Avoid that bat. Let's go in this class. Got another monster? Oh, it's him! Are we in the same... No, we're not in the same place. Oh, there's two of them. I need another weapon. I need to leave here until I find another weapon. Is there anything else in this place, though? Music's a little repetitive now. Aha! You are not desk tall. One, <laughs> you are not desk height. I should say. Ah. What really gets me is that I'm not getting taken out by some huge demon. I'm being taken out by like a little tiny beholder spawn. I'm getting bounced all over the place while I'm at it. That's another thing. You're, you have to commit to the jump that you make. It's another one of those games where you can't influence your jump in midair. So if you jump straight up, that's it. You've committed. You're coming straight back down. I got another TV here. 
We get a weapon instead of an apple. No, we get an apple. Alright. Let's make it back out of here if we can. Yeah, something tells me I need another weapon to take out either of these enemies. Come on. Make it to the door and not get juggled all the way to the back of the room. Alright, let's see. Uh, down again. Let's go downstairs again. We can find another weapon before I choose to end this game. That was a totally useful space. Let's go up. Let's see if we can find a weapon up here. I need something other than a bat. The name bat on the screen implies that I can get another weapon. Enemies that are difficult to kill with the bat imply that I can get another weapon. This is one of those games, during its time, if I owned it, I would, I would play it over and over again trying to beat it, especially if it bested me repeatedly. I, I would consider it a challenge to try to beat it, so it would have replay, replayability at the time. This doesn't strike me as a game that I would come back to now. It, it's not one of those that that was really executed perfectly or, or well enough. When you try to add elements in, like say, hunting down monsters in a school, you end up with something a little bit more complicated than just a game of tic-tac-toe. But the game of tic-tac-toe is perfect because you don't end up with all the negative, I'm kind of ranting here, but you don't end up with all the the negative things that come with adding content. So what they've done here is they've actually just took a concept, ran with it, and ran a little bit too fast and pumped out this, this game that probably sold Halloween in the late 80s for 50 bucks or something. I don't want to be knocked down there, that's a useless hallway. Now that we're backtracking, I think I'm reaching the end of my patience with this game, though. I reached two dead ends and have to actually go back and still have not gotten another weapon. If there's something I don't know about the lockers, if there's weapons or anything in the locker, can I pause and do anything? Apparently I can get different shoes. But this is all I've got. Stairs without getting hurt. Okay, I came from there, I believe. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, psych that dude. Anything over here? Another apple, maybe? No? Any secrets? No. I've even lost a little bit of entertainment that I had from the very beginning. The game's getting a little bit boring now. I think I've been in this room. I think I've been here. If there's a TV and it's already busted, then I've been here. Yep. Got a little turned around in the hallways. It's about time to call it on this game. Music. The one song that plays isn't bad, but it is just... Well, I guess there's, there's more than one. There's an inside of a classroom song. And there's the Out in the Hallway song. But they're both only about 10 seconds long, and then they repeat. This guy keeps generating new hands. Or did he just shoot both hands and now he's out of ammo? That's actually kind of clever. At least there's a little bit more attention to detail than just having an enemy that just keeps shooting his hands. Oh, man. Apples. Nothing but apples. Can I take out the Medusa now that I've made it back to the beginning? Is there a place I can stand that's not... Just seems to dart around kind of... Randomly. Does she have a limit that I can stand outside of? Oh, nope. Well, game over. Alright, ghoul school. I will not be returning to you. <laughs> and, uh, well... 
Thanks for watching Let's Play NES, and as always, you can share any appreciation by liking the video and subscribe to be updated when new episodes are released. But until next time, this is Josh, signing out.